before you got pregnant, before you got married, you had so much sense of purpose. You had so many things that you wanted to do. So many things that you wanted to do, or so many things that you had planned that you were going to do. Then when you got to that place, yeah, I understand that it can be quite overwhelming. Chase that career, chase that promotion, chase the academic success that you want to go for your master's, go for your PhD. Hi everyone, how are we all doing today? I hope we are good. I hope we are good. So right now, like I promised in my last sit down video, I promised to be more consistent, showing up here regardless until the upgrade that i'm trusting god for happens hmm. i was just about saying that my one is home today give it to god and just try to see him in the bedroom only for me to hear babe <laughs> okay so before the trial comes hopefully you want to show on this video today or in this video today let me just be fast. I don't even want this video to be long. So, as you can see, the title, hopefully this is the same title, or I will get a better title after editing. So, I just want to speak to moms. So, even as I'm speaking to moms, I'm actually speaking to everybody, speaking to husbands, husbands-to-be, single ladies that would still eventually become moms, or someone who has a mom friend, or a mom as a sister, so I just want to encourage mommies, take it from a mom like you. So I'll just dig into a bit of my own story. One thing that inspired me to make this video and honestly, the Holy Spirit has just been speaking to me about this aspect of my life and encouraging me that I can actually do better. Understanding that it can be quite overwhelming, even if you're a mom of one, a mom of two, a mom of three, and I just know that it is even going to be more challenging according to the number of children that you have. If I feel this way and I just have one, then I cannot even imagine moms who have a newborn and have a, like a, to a toddler to take care of. But even with that, yeah, I know that um, motherhood is like a ministry on its own. Motherhood is a lot. Motherhood takes... Motherhood is demanding. Motherhood takes a whole lot it takes a lot to be a mom it's not just about even giving birth there are some people who are mothers even without giving birth at least we know about firstborn daughters this is not even to shade the firstborn at least we have to come mothers i just had to just say that before some people will get triggered and come for me um so i don't speak to mothers so i noticed um after i give birth my baby Actually, earlier this year, I started feeling very, because to be honest, I made a review. <laughs> I made a review. I posted it, I think, yesterday. I think I hopefully want this video to be up tomorrow, Sunday. I made a review, posted it yesterday. I posted it on Instagram um, on Friday. And, um, and I was, I was, I was talking about, um, how motherhood has been, how people ask me, oh, has motherhood been for you? I just put it two clips explaining how this that carry how motherhood has been for me. And uh, probably I will insert the mm. video or just go and watch like is my on YouTube is my is the latest shots that I've uploaded. And um to be honest, can be, I know it can be quite overwhelming. Earlier this year I let me just boom bust the bob right now i've not made my hair at all it's like we've entered the second half of the year i've not made my hair at all this year not because i can't make my hair but at a point i was not contemplating cutting my hair but it takes a lot for my hair to grow and when i got pregnant with joshua hair, it felt like the hormones <laughs> were responsible for hair growth actually like if it was favorable for me so my hair grew longer and fuller so i am contemplating i'm not part of those people who say oh, i'll cut it and next month their hair is looking like they didn't cut it and i really don't want to cut my hair well i didn't feel like making my hair not even sometimes i make her back or make work i didn't even want to just make the hair i knew it was not healthy for my hair i wasn't even taking care of my hair i was just very 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 i was just very very overwhelmed and 
even in the midst of all that, I felt like I was, I would not say I was losing myself, but I, 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 I was not seeing that me. I was not seeing that me, even if my husband, the very sweet one, would say, no, I'm no. Even if you are telling me from a place of, oh, yeah, I'm beautiful in any shade, even when I'm looking like a scrap, which my husband doesn't like this word, scrap. See, you see that I mean what scrap is. Even when I'm in my scrapish state, you see, oh, please, I know, I really appreciate it that it does that, but I know I'm not happy with my, my state, but... I don't want to say my current state because now I've put in more effort into becoming better. And I'm not only talking about just um, physical appearance for moms. I'm also speaking from a place of before you before you got pregnant, before you got married, you had so much sense of purpose. You had so many things that you wanted to do. So many things that you wanted to do, or so many things that you had planned that you were going to do, then when you got to that place, yeah, I understand that it can be quite overwhelming, but don't you owe your children so much that they will look at their mom and say, Oh, if mommy could do this, I can do it. Like, do it for yourself, do it for a sense of fulfillment. Like so many moms have said, Oh, because of they got pregnant and they're taking care of children, they lost themselves, they're not happy with the way they look or with their way of life, things they could not achieve because they felt like they were taking care of children. Like I want to encourage you that even in the midst of okay, taking myself as an example, I'm someone's daughter, I'm someone's wife, I'm someone's mom, I'm chasing purpose, I'm working in purpose. Right, I'm chasing purpose, I'm working in purpose. I'm a child of God that has to maintain a solid relationship with her father. I am somebody's, I am people's sister. Sister, I am people's friend. I am, what else? Uh, there's a ministry, there's a ministry, there's a group of people God has sent me to, and I have to just show up regardless. And I know that God, there is grace, there is grace. Because when I took in, that was one thing God told me that He's going to walk me through motherhood. And to be honest, I was not even like, I've actually enjoyed it. So many periods when I feel overwhelmed. I'm not even trying to say it has been tough, it has been beautiful, it has been sweet, it has been overwhelming, sometimes draining, but it keeps showing up. Just to encourage you, you know, as a mom, not to bury those dreams, not to bury those visions, not to. Not to um, not to abandon purpose because you give birth. Yes, nurturing a child is purpose, but there are also many things. God has given you so many talents, just like the um, story of talents in the Bible. Like God gave one, two, and the rest of it like that. One, two, and five. Like many, many there as a woman, you might have just one probably that like God has called you into. Why you might have like four, five, ten, depending. Don't let just this one stop you from achieving other things. Chase that career, chase that promotion, chase the academics yourself that you want to go for your master's, go for your PhD. Nothing is stopping you. I know moms who are still going to school, who are still bagging certificates and all that, who are who are pursuing great things. And I also want to encourage um husbands to please be there for their wives. Older hands, through, older hands through motherhood. Always keep reminding her of who she is. If a man, it would really be helpful if a man knows who his wife is, and a man who, who would always encourage his wife to become better. Um, that's why you need to marry right. Don't marry a man who wants you to just be in a place, wants you to be stagnant. But when you have a husband who is um always there, pushing you to even become better for yourself. So as a husband. Who knows that your wife has so much to offer? Who knows that there's, there's a lot that she can actually achieve? Push her to become, push her to take those courses, push her to learn that um, and work, push her to go on those projects. Just push her to keep doing it, regardless of how she feels. You know, with your support, take, talking from experience with your support and you cheering her on. Even when it feels overwhelmed, when it feels like she wants to run, because of you are there and you are cheering her on, you are encouraging her. You are encouraging her. You are making her see like so much the strength that she has, the, the capacity. She's definitely going to go for more. She's going to keep um, pushing towards achieving more, more greatness and becoming a better version of herself daily, regardless of how overwhelming it might be to raise children. That was just what I just came to say because 
from the way I felt, like it took one of um so when I buy baking stuff, we call her Alaja. Alaja has known me even before I got married. And funny thing is, a night before I went to our shop, my I was telling my husband that babe, I need to prioritize skincare, I need to prioritize myself, I need to I need to get that me back. I was telling my husband the night before. So when she comes, she was like, Dami, wah wah wah. And I was like, Alaja, I'm coming to come. I was like, Dami, ah, oh, you're still CC that I should please. Prioritize myself, make sure that I take care of myself. I'm like, I think this is just good, like emphasizing on this for me. And I'm here now trained how to moms, please take care of yourself. I know it can be quite overwhelming. I know it can be draining. I see guys, as I'm speaking, if I show you the state of our sitting room, the construction is dragging everything with the state that it is now, it's dragging everything. <laughs> we are arranged now for you blink. It looks like he did not do anything so we have said by in the night we would arrange so and i want to encourage you don't be a superwoman if you need help if you can if you can pay for help pay let people come and help you and if you are in a, a state where you cannot really um what's this word you cannot pay for the service eh? you cannot pay for the services then take things slow wash plates when you can Anybody that is angry, let them come and help you. Sweep, arrange when you can. Take things on a like a slow pace. Don't get yourself worked up. Don't get yourself choked by work. Take it little by little. Walk a little bit. Relax. Even because when you are relaxing, somebody is climbing you. Walk a bit. Relax. Walk a bit. Relax. But please, one thing, don't lose yourself in the process of being a mom. Like I always say, also, thank you for reminding me this. Um, one thing I always say is, I always tell people to, don't say because I got married. Don't say because I have a child now. I tell people that knew me before. And if you are meeting me for the first time, and I am telling you to call me Dami, and you call me, you are calling me, um, Mommy Joshua. That one is even quite annoying. Like, I'm, I'm see, I'm the happiest that I have the cutest son. But please, it is Dami first before Mrs. Aviola. It is Dami first before Joshua's mom. It is very annoying when people that know me before I give birth. It's not, I understand you say it's a sign of respect. Even people that don't respect you sometimes will call you that just because they say, ah, that's how it's supposed to be. But if I am telling you to call me Dami, it is somehow for you to now still be eating mommy juice from my head. I will I will forever be Dami before I am Mrs. Abiola, before I am Joshua's mom. And I feel like this particular thing is one reason why women um get so drowned in motherhood or being a wife that they forget who they really are because see that means the brand that means that means see when god is seeing me he's, okay <laughs> when god is seeing me he's seeing his daughter yes he's seeing dami he knows that there's a part there's a part of me that i am a wife i'm a mom but first it's seeing dami so if you're going to if i'm going to ask oh god who am i i'm not saying god please do his mommy joshua or oh, Mrs. Abiola, Tamula. So I think you can also help moms like that, like remind them of who they are. Please, I'm just trying to put this out. People that have been telling, especially people that have known me before, and even the ones that will still meet me. If I introduce myself to you as Damilola, please, in the name of God, that means Dami, and I'm not even joking because I know some people now won't take it now and start intentionally calling mom, um, mom Joshua. See, the funny thing is that a lot of people even call me Mrs. Abiola. <laughs> That's the funny thing. All this thing started after I gave it. Like, why did you not stop calling me Dami when I got married? Then I gave birth now. You think it's time for you to switch? Please, please keep reminding me of who I am. Let me let me understand. I, I am the happiest person that I am, Mrs. Abiola, that I am. I know. I don't need the constant reminder. That's just to be honest. I think I'm speaking on behalf of. It's very. It's, you know, <laughs> I don't have. I don't want to talk again. So please, guys, just I'm. I'm actually serious with this last point that I made. I'm. I'm actually very serious. I'm gonna change it for a lot of people. <laughs> so, mommies, please don't lose yourself. Don't lose yourself. Well done, <laughs> guys. My foot was fire. Just try almost injured himself. He almost fell the fan on his head. Like guys, I just looked at this guy. I don't think it was up to a, up to 30 seconds that I checked on him. 
it was still crawling and the next thing i mean is bah, thank god the fan didn't fall on his head does not mean he will not go back there so guys i gotta go i gotta go <laughs> thank you guys for watching thank you for watching say bye bye i say jay's fine jay's fine JJ's fine and say promise uh, uh, promise that you will not touch the fan again. Do you promise us? I promise. I promise. I'll be I'll let you guys know if you will not touch it this night. I won't let you come again. Say bye. Bye guys. Please do well to subscribe, do well to like, do well to comment, do well to share, and do well to check up on your mom today. Bye. Bye. Bye.